Hello once again, it's Sparkpilot here guys, and uh, we're going to play some Assassin's Creed Origins. One thing that y'all didn't know is that when when it's at night, your detection uh, ratio is far decreased. Like, they will, they will have a hard time detecting you at night, which is honestly pretty fun. It's pretty funny. Because... I was trying to do this off screen, like get past this main quest and then like come back to show you guys it, but nah, that's not working. So I had to do that. I had to do that just to give y'all a little tips. Like if y'all ever try to buy this game, get the ability to uh, fast forward through time and uh, that will help you out tremendously. So Maduna Moon is supposedly somewhere Somewhere around here, no? Bam. There he is. Alright. We know where he's at. So let's go. Let's go and kill this guy. And this guy who's been stealing people's wives and attacking priests. Ah, they will attack on sight here. All right, we're just gonna leave them out. I just said, okay. I was like, whoa, I, there's a big guy in an archer. Okay, he's going there. Let's fly Sinu down. More problems at hand. Up oh, here we go. This is why I love playing Assassin's Creed games because of this one moment right here. Oh, cutting. your throne. I die my work unfinished. So close, so very close to ushering in the perpetual rule of the strong and virtuous. Virtue! <laughs> what he will to give us the power of the gods? What is one boy? What is one boy? Papa? Is it gonna climax? Oh, another cutscene. Oh. So close. Hey, one more, one more. Okay. Hey. Well, I can try. This way, I'll get two. <laughs> sure. Well. Up. Strong. Ready? Yes. Oh, you made me miss you. <laughs> Remu, come here. I found a Haini cave. A real one? Yes. Ah, go ahead. You're gonna love it. There's like 16 hyenas. 16? And they're so dark and scary. Well, you know what? Uh, I'd rather go hunt with my papa. You always get too scared. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's go on a real hunt. Huh? <laughs> All right. Come, come, come. What are we hunting? Okay. The oracle wants the pelt of an ibex stag for the ceremony. You will stand next to the pharaoh, won't you, Violet? You're the magi. When I'm magi, I'll stand next to the pharaoh. Even Sanu looks younger. 
to spend together. Enjoy the journey. Hit! Did you hurt him? A clean shot to the heart. Hardly hurts at all. Let us get that pelt. Now, now, I like this. I like this. That clean shot to the heart? I shot that motherfucker in the fucking throat. One day, I want to shoot an arrow through the sun. <laughs> you can. Your arrow will have to become Senu. Imagine, all my arrows are Senus. Then I'll be able to hunt anything. You said you'd like to see the Pharaoh up close. Yeah. What if you stand with me by his side? Can I do that? As my son and the future Magi, yes. Papo, what is a Magi really? The first Magi was a protector of the Pharaoh. But now... It means you must protect all the people of Egypt. Not just protect them, but work for their well-being. Oh, Papo, I'm so excited to be Magi one day. You know all the secrets of Siwa. What if I never grow up to be a Magi? Ah, of course you will. You are my son. But I get scared. I try to be brave, but sometimes it's hard. Hold on. Let's go this way. When I was about your age, sometimes I got scared too. Your grandfather was a well-known Magi, and he wanted me to bring honor to the family when I succeeded him. Yeah? One day, he took me up this way. At the top, he said something to me. A single word. <laughs> it changed me. One word? I got over my fear. I knew I could do anything I needed to. What did he say? I will tell you once we are there. Alright. Oh, and forgive oh, me. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, I'll tell you later. What word did your father say? Jump. Don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. Trust me, you can. I do. I will. Now jump then. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. <gasps> Shut up, you filthy little shit. Help! Help me! That's Shandira. I said shut up. Run home to your mother. Chenzera will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go, now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, Emu, just do what I say, please. Go! Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. What the fuck? Bye getting angry at his boy. Come. What is this? Who are you to give commands to me? You piece of shit. We don't have time to piss away. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! I, I can't win! I can't win! Wait, I was supposed to lose? What? I'm confused. I'm so confused, bro. See that no one comes in. Are you hot? Go ahead. 
Try it your way. I'll leave my son out of this! Your son has something to explain to you. With the Ibis showing the orb. We believe we need this to enter the vault. This what is the a waste of time. Oh god! Is it's all right. Papa, they need you to tell them about the vault. They need to know how to use it. As measure, you must have some clue of your legend that explains its use. I don't know anything about this vault! Please leave my son out of my this! Lord. The pharaoh has been aroused! He insists he will be discovered! Here. Quickly! Talk to your son. If the vault isn't open when we return, we'll never see him again. We thought you were dead. You could not even save your own son. You are no one. By yet of nothing. Father to nobody! And here is your nobody! May the Hidden One greet you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. Oh, the changes started with when Romans did this, or when uh, Mongols did this, or uh, when British did this. Revolutionary War. I feel like Egypt was kind of like the foundation of everything, really. Because other than Rome, Egypt was long-lasting, and it had like technological advances and stuff how am I supposed to get in this building I'm talking about history and I can't even get into this damn building the great library <laughs> did you say assassini that, that, that. that's Florence that's Florenza. This is Egypt. Florenza is not even made yet. Oh, we go in here. You are right about that. But can't you express them concisely? Bro, I'll take that any day. I'll, I'll be scavenging on this shit, bro. Oh, location completed, apparently. All right. All right. Therapies. Now what? Where is Raya? Ah, Serapis. 
I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. I as eager to see you. What you say? Quickly, follow me. I has taken some precautions right now, bro. You know when your girl is like, oh wait, he's talking. Damn it. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am I's cousin, Panos. Ah, yes, Panos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadio sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often, they drive people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of the system we live under. Gennadios. A monster. The Philakitae of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. Yeah, but what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all. Fear not. Huh? Okay, he just started running, so I guess. There's Manos. He thinks he's a poet. The modern Sophocles. You must hear his epic poem. Yeah, but when your girl's in there taking extra precaution because she got her man out there. The way to Aya is and Aya is like. Taking precautions because bikes out here, bro. But she's dating another dude. How do we get in here? Okay. Right there. It's Assassin's Creed. Have a little faith. Oh, I. That's a keyword. Have a little faith. Leap of faith. Where? Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Never again should we spend months apart. We only have each other without him one. Let us be together. Us two. Each to each. I have news. You are scarred by justice. Uh. I bludgeoned Medunamun with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. Mm. I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> I killed as well. Acteon. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. I am. But I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then we will be done. Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council, which means the snake is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere, because of his work with Cleopatra. But Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. <laughs> By her treacherous brother, yes. She plans to take back the throne. She wants the snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this. To slit his throat. 
It's an ancient blade that killed the tyrant Xerxes. A weapon of justice. <laughs> Ingenious. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. That's been uh, episode two so far. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Shots fired.